always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Whether you celebrated or mourn the departure of designer Chris Bangle from BMW, the story may not be over yet. We'll have more. Also, Volkswagen teases a new U.S.-built sedan. A builder of extreme SUVs is unfazed by the recession. A new German sports car takes a winter vacation before a production debut. And I'm getting a new car. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. And you are watching Fast Lane Daily, President's Day edition. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. Last week, Chief Designer Chris Bangle said he was leaving BMW, touching off a firestorm of both good riddances and say it ain't so's. Now Automotive News says Bangle could be bringing his controversial styling philosophy to his own design studio. Early reports had indicated Bangle would leave the automotive business altogether. There's no word yet from Bangle on his plans, but industry watchers say he'll likely have to take at least a temporary break from the automotive projects due to the likelihood of a non-compete clause in his BMW contract. And Volkswagen says its new U.S. plant will give birth to a new mid-size sedan. That or NMS is the internal code name for a new VW model built specifically for the North American market. Volkswagen officials say the NMS will be around the size of a current Passat, but Inside Line reports the company is aiming to undercut sales leaders, the Honda Accord and Toyota Camry. VW says the NMS will roll out of the company's Tennessee plant, now under construction, arriving sometime in 2011 as a 2012 model. And if the ultra-sized SUV is dead, someone forgot to tell the people over at the Alton Truck Company. The truck maker rolled out a new mega-sized SUV at the Chicago show last week, proving that even a global economic downturn, insert thunder here, can't stifle the drive for excess. The Ford F650-based Alton XUV weighs in at nearly 26,000 pounds. Power comes from a Caterpillar 7.2-liter diesel engine, producing a relatively mild 230 horsepower but a stump pulling 660 pounds-feet of torque. The sticker price of 200,000 bucks includes hardwood floors, custom captain's chairs, four wireless computer stations, a 42-inch plasma TV, and a rear view camera. Just the thing for that family trip to Earth Day Festival in San Francisco this year. And by just the thing, I mean not even close to the thing. Next up, looks like a Porsche gets power from a Volkswagen and it's been spotted in cold weather testing. You know what it is, and it's in the internet rumor mill, and it's coming up right after this. These three idiots know nothing about cars. I saw a hot looking Prius. Oh yeah, what color? These guys do. What do you think about buying a car just leaving the track? Brabus just came out with their new SL65 package. Garage 419. Buy car guys for car guys. Take this car. Take Derek D's car. Yeah. It is over. Voting ended Friday. I am getting the Pontiac Solstice Coupe GXP. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks. Yes. It was a hard fought battle. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes. It was a hard fought battle. It was a hard fought battle. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. It was a hard fought battle between the 128i and the Pontiac Solstice Coupe. But hey, the Coupe won. And a shout out to the Solstice Forum members for getting out the vote and putting it over the edge. And keep watching as I actually acquire this vehicle. All right, I just want to thank all you guys for voting, getting involved. It was fun, and I'm getting a new car. Mm. <laughs> Turbocharged. Yes. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. The production model Ortega GT may be set for a debut at the Toasty Warm Geneva Motor Show next month, but engineers are busy making sure the GT can handle negative Fahrenheit temperatures. Spies caught an Ortega GT prototype in winter testing. As we've reported in the past, the Ortega gets its design from Danish designer Henrik Fisker, who's been a bit busy these days with his new hybrid luxury car, the Karma. The Ortega GT will get power from Volkswagen's 3.6 liter VR6, producing an expected 300 horsepower. That's paired with a 6-speed DSG gearbox to propel the Ortega from 0 to 62 in under 5 seconds. Lightweight materials like aluminum and carbon fiber will keep weight down to under 2,500 pounds, enabling a top speed of 168 miles per hour. Insiders say the company will keep initial production to 500 cars, but could increase production if strong demand requires an extra boost. 
Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily for... For goodness sakes, man, you're amateur. Sorry, man. Oh, good. Derek, shut up. Derek. Bruce, don't shut me up. This is the end of our professional career. My for goodness man. sakes. This week on Wii PC TV. With all these amazing computers coming down the pipeline, what should we do with our current computers when they become obsolete? WePC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it, Intel inside.